Hey there, folks. Today I have a very special treat, although maybe it's a special treat for me. This is a Gen 3 Pokemon contest! You heard right! I have been looking for one of these for like a year, but have not been able to find anyone who is willing to have one with me. But to, but on this fine day, I found someone. His name is Mowgli Tawa, and when I posted in the Smogon battle request thread, anyone up for a Gen 3 Pokemon contest, he said yes. That's right. Check out his YouTube channel. He's incredible. He's the coolest guy ever. Uh, so anyway, Gen 3 Pokemon contest, cool contest, uh, hacking loud, so we maxed out our contest stats. Hacking, by the way, in Gen 3 now made a lot easier thanks to Kazoar's new uh, A-save editor tool. Much easier to use than the previous encyclopedia, blah blah blah. I don't even remember, I don't think I ever ended up using it even though it was sitting in my hard drive for like two years. Um, so we're maxed out for all of our contest stats, which means we should have the maximum number of beauty contest points is a preliminary phase, um, judging points, and our two AI opponents should not, so really the only person I have to worry about is my human opponent, Magli Tawa, and his Blaziken, and I don't need to worry about those other two guys, most likely. I mean, they're so far behind, I doubt they'd be able to catch up in, like, any circumstance. So I consider the moves that I could go for, and I make what appears at first to be a kind of dumb play. I go for Rain Dance, which is not a cool move, and only works well when the cool when the audience excitement is really high. The audience, excuse me, the audience excitement is not going to be really high because it's the start of the match, and I'm going second, so it's only going to be at once. So why would I go for Rain Dance this early when I'm not even going to get the coolness boost? Uh, and the answer you will see next turn, or if you saw my move set and know how Pokemon contests work, then you already know. Yeah, by the way, if you don't know how Pokemon contests work, if you have never seen a Gen 3 Pokemon contest before, you are probably confused as anything. Can't help you there. I only have so long in this battle, and I don't want to explain how Pokemon contests work, so, you know, do some Googling, or I guess don't watch, and I'm sorry. So, here's something really weird. So, Wobbuffet goes for Destiny Bond, which basically functions like Earthquake or Self-Destruct, and it takes you out of the running for the entire rest of the match, and he used it on turn run. Turn one! Um, yeah, that actually happened when I was playtesting my set, uh, when I was in the Master Rank competition, so that means there's only three of us really competing, and it's just kind of funny, but whatever. So now you see Thunder is in red, and I'm going to use it, and you notice I'm in the last slot, so see, it was all a plan. It was all a plan. And if you don't know what's coming, you know, you'll, you're about to see. There was so much strategy with the Gen 3 Pokemon contests, as opposed to the Gen 4 ones, which I really felt they dumbed it down, and I really hated the dance competition. Um, I basically hate anything that involves hand-eye coordination. That's why you don't really see me playing Mario Kart too much. Um, my hand-eye coordination sucks. So, yeah, I'm hoping that... So, yeah, so, um, my opponent does a decently appealing move, but unfortunately it appeared to be mostly a jamming move. Uh, and since he went first, there's no jamming involved, so kind of sucks, but I imagine he didn't have much other choice. Uh, I go for the Thunder, and in combination with Rain Dance, so what it is is it's a jamming move, so anyone who goes before will have points taken away unless they're made oblivious by, um, like, Light Screen, which is what uh, that guy did. And so, th and this was also an appeal combo with Rain Dance, so that means they get a plus two boost, and get another boost for um, it being a cool move. So that's really awesome, and now I've pulled ahead, and I think I'm going to go first next turn. Now here's the thing. Um, I have a move that works really well if you perform it first, but the problem is it's a cool move. So this is the this is the turn where I do the most amount of strategy in the entire contest, and the idea is that I actually just go for Rain Dance instead of Shockwave, which would have given me a ton of points, but it would have boosted the coolness factor of the audience excitement up to plus four. And at plus four, that means that had Magli Tawa's Blaziken used a cool move, it would have maxed out coolness, the audience would have gone wild, and you would have gotten a ton of points. Um, and as you see, he did go for a cool move, and so basically I have robbed him of making the crowd go wild, and it's kind of a dick move, but, you know, it's the game, and it's a strategy. Uh, so instead, this Electrode is going to get the crowd going, but since its, uh, its concept stats aren't maxed out, I probably still don't have to worry about it because it's not going to be able to catch up with the two of us. So, assuming like it doesn't really, really, really do well. But, so here, I could go for Thunder, I decide I'm going to go for Shockwave instead because it's going to give me more points and the jamming is not really going to work out. Uh, there's no one to jam uh, right now. Jamming, I think, is actually more of a 
No, I think jamming is what they call it. Anyway, so the standout angler hustled even more. I get a shit ton of points. My coolness goes over great. And yeah, I'm really getting a lot of points this turn. Uh, my uh, The AI is going to go for a light screen. Yeah, it's actually nice only having one AI to worry about doing weird and random things. But it would have been more interesting, I guess, if both AIs had been doing stuff. Here, my opponent does a great move for me, which is agility, and you're going to see why it's a great move. So the last turn, uh, the next turn is going to be the last turn. Um, so that's going to affect uh, my strategy kind of a lot, and I really didn't want to be in the lead slot going into that final round. So it's really nice for me that even though I have the most appeals points, I'm not going to be in the first slot going into the final round. I'm going to be in the second slot. So that means I can go, well, I could have gone for Hyper Beam anyway, but here, the Hyper Beam is actually going to work out really well in my favor. Um, so, Magli Tala just has the worst luck in this match in terms of positioning. Um, Gatduza does a really uh, decent move right there. Gets a, uh, gets a plus five hearts. But, here's the thing, it's coming. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go for Hyper Beam, which... Uh, Hyper Beam is like double thunder in the sense that you get twice as many points and you also jam twice as many points. That means take twice as many points away from anyone who went first. Uh, the downside is you can't go on the next turn, but since this is round five, I can't go on the next turn anyway. So Hyper Beam is a great move to use on the final turn, although there are better moves. Destiny Bond is one of them, and another really great move is Explosion. Um, although Explosion is not a cool move, so that means that the audience is not going to go well, which is nice because I think that Electrode really could have come ahead with those additional five hearts. But as it is, um, you know, it's not, I really don't think it's going to be able to pull ahead. Although it looks like that Electrode did outpace, um, Madly Tawa. Uh, although we're going to have to wait until the final tally to see what the point breakdown is. So, uh, here comes the judging. And, um, yeah, thank you all for the most wonderful display of quality appeals. I really love Gen 3 Pokemon contests, and people, I don't know, just, uh, people that I've talked to don't really seem to really care too much about them. Um, but I thought it was one of the coolest things in Gen 3, and I really kind of wish they would somehow bring them back. So here it is, the post-pounding proclamation of the winner. Got a level alliteration there. So, will I be able to come out ahead, um... Well, you, so what you see here is that I only had 9 stars versus his 10. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, uh, considering I'm pretty sure I maxed out all my contest stats, but whatever. As you see, he came really close, but did not outpace me. I do win the Pokemon contest. Woohoo! Go me! But really, really go Mowgli Tower for being an amazing sport, for knowing how the Hamachi worked, for knowing how to use VBA link, which I really didn't. So comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge folks, and check out Mowgli Tower's channel.